For almost 10 years, Luz Marina has been searching for the truth about the killing of her son, Fair Leonardo. Lured by fake job recruiters, he left home and didn't return alive. Months later, she was told by officials that Fair was killed in a clash between FARC rebels and the military, and that her son was the rebels' local commander. That couldn't have been his case. Even if he was 26 years old, he was like a little boy in an adult's body. He had the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. He never learned to read or write and had a physical disability in his right leg and arm. Fair was just one of many who disappeared over a period of six years. Most were found in mass graves, dressed like rebels. In time, investigators discovered that during the presidency of Álvaro Uribe, at least 3,000 Colombians were killed by the military. All were victims of an apparent effort by soldiers to boost casualty figures, driven by performance-related bonuses. A little over 800 military members have been sentenced so far in what has become known as the false positive scandal. Almost all of them soldiers. By human rights organizations, alleged senior military officials played a pivotal role in the killings. However, few have been charged. In coming days, one general and four colonels will be promoted despite being under investigation. Uh, interestingly enough, their resumes has been uh, clean or doctorate uh, to eliminate in relevant information regarding their um, record during that period. The defense minister says the senior officers have the full confidence of the government. No, I Nobody on the promotion list is under formal penal investigation. Those who are have not been considered. This means their resume is good to continue serving Colombia. For Luz Marina, that is not surprising. We see no light at the end of the road, not the truth, nor that those truly responsible will ever be judged. After all these years, Luz Marina's only hope is for the International Criminal Court to intervene. If Colombia fails to bring her truth and justice, Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.